game of the week. Brought to you by the Jalapeno Tree. It's one of the oldest rivalries in Texas, and tonight the top-ranked Longview Lobos welcomed in the Mavericks from Marshall, who are coming in off hot after a win over Tyler. David Gibson now joins us live from the home of the Lobos to let us know how the latest chapter of this historic rivalry played out on the field. David, take it away. Hey, hey, Garrett, these teams know each other really well. It's a lot of history between these two, the Marshall Mavericks, the Longview Lobos. It's rivalry week. Let's get to the highlights. The number one team in 5A Division I, the Longview Lobos, hosts their rivals, Marshall Mavericks, for 112 years. First uh, quarter, Longview goal line, Tater Tatum hops in the end zone. Labels lead it 7-3. Now Mavericks driving. Sloan Collier, he fakes the handoff. He wants to go deep downfield, but Willie Nelson has other plans, and he makes the interception. We go all the other way. He's juking. He's fighting for extra yards. Lobos are back in action. Now second quarter action. After the big game, Lobos, they give it to their workhorse. Taylor Tatum, and he runs, and then he bounces outside, turns on the Jets. He goes all the way for his second touchdown of the half. Longview extends their lead 17 to 3. Now, after an onside kick, Lobos, Jordan Allen, he's going to fake the handoff, and he's looking before he's going to throw a strike downfield, and DJ Reese climbs the ladder and makes the catch while flipping over his head. What a catch, touchdown, Longview. What a way to mic drop it. Now, it's all Longview early. Allen, he fakes the handoff, and he's going to roll out before he throws it short to Tatum, and he's going to run full head of steam, run into the defender, and he's in for the score. Lobos lead it 31-3 at the half. Now, let's take a look at the scoreboard. Lobos win this one 48-11. Coach King talks about how proud he is of his guys stepping up and feeding off each other tonight. For us. I mean, they gave us a lot of momentum. I mean, we got several turnovers, turn around, we got big plays off of it, you know. So uh, I think our kids, you know, fed off each other and played well tonight. Uh, long drives, some of them were one play drives, you know. So we found ways to get points on the board and, you know, made some key plays along the way. Uh, I would say the one thing about the offense uh, was uh, a red zone trip. I felt like in the second half we should have got a touchdown and open drive in the second half. We didn't do anything with it. Went three and out. You can't do that in a ball game like this. I mean, you give them momentum, they go down and score, and all of a sudden they're back in it, and, and, and you've got a, a good ball game. Hey, Garrett, the Longview Lobos had all the momentum tonight. The defense was flying around, forcing turnovers, and the offense converting. So Coach King should be proud of the way his guy, showing why they're number one in 5A Division One. Garrett, we're going to send it back to you. Like you said, Longview showing off why they are one of the top teams in the state. Thanks for that, David. Let's go to DP's